How do you check occlusion on your patients? So what you wanna do is have them close and bite their normal bite. Sometimes I even have my patient open and then close because sometimes when they bite down, it's, it's hard to know when you're thinking about it. You're gonna look for this mesial buccal cusp right here on the maxillary first molar, and it should fit in this groove of the, the mandible, the mandib mandibular first molar. So a lot of times I'll even use my probe and line it up and be like, okay, this, there's the groove, there's the cusp, they're in line, looks great, class one. If it's more than half a cusp either way, then technically the occlusion's off and you're looking at either two or three, depending on which way your patient goes. But for her, she's a class one because that cusp fits right into that groove. And then double check both sides because sometimes they'll have a one and the other side will be something different. So don't be shy to check both.